welcome to TenNet, the latest in cloud-based property management software. My name is Matt Haas. I am a co-creator of TenNet and director of customer support. Today I would like to take you through the basic steps to sign up and establish your account, set up your building portfolio, set up the units and tenants, and record the basic transactions necessary to effectively maintain your building data. By clicking on the sign up link provided in our welcome email, you will be taken right here to a login window. Enter account, username, and a password you have chosen during the sign up process and click the login tab. For the purposes of our demonstration, we will go to our sample file. You are now taken to the main page where you can see the overview of your portfolio. Initially, the display fields are empty, so let's go ahead and set up a property. To add a new building, click the Property Setup tab and click Add New. Enter all information pertaining to the building, the name and address, who the tenants make their checks payable to, and the return mailing address for the rent payments. You can copy the property address by clicking Copy button. You then have the option of including a general message to be included on the rent bill each month. Then under Property Settings, click the drop-down arrow next to Type and choose the description of the building and which months to automatically generate recurring charges to the tenant records. Once finished, click the Add Property tab. For the purposes of the demonstration, we will choose the residential apartment building from the property's display. Once the property is set up, the next step is to set up the units and tenants in the building. Go to the Setup Unit tab and click the Add New tab. Enter all unit information, including the required unit number, as well as optional data of bedrooms and baths, type of unit, square footage, and unit alternate address if different than the property address. If the unit is vacant, click the checkbox for Create Vacant Unit, enter the date that the unit was vacated, and the base rent amount in the Recurring Charges section. When finished, click the Add Unit tab to complete this update. If the unit is occupied, enter the unit information as described earlier. Unit number, bedrooms and baths, type, square footage, and unit alternate address if necessary. Then record the tenant name, move-in date, lease dates, and type of tenant if any. If the rent bill or any other correspondence is to be sent to an address other than the physical location of the apartment, input the information under tenant alternate mailing information. Enter the recurring charge amount using the drop-down arrow next to each category code description for each billing cycle. If you want to generate the recurring charge amount as of the first day of the initial processing month you are starting your service in, leave the checkbox on, otherwise click the box to remove it. When finished, click the Add Unit Tenant tab. Once all of the units and tenants are set up, transactions can now be posted. Go to Portfolio, select Building from the Properties Display if necessary, click the Payments Charges tab, and select the desired tenant from the Units Tenants Display. The current tenant summary will be, then be displayed showing the name, unit number, current status, active for green or inactive for orange, and the breakdown of the current outstanding balance due by category code. Choose the tab corresponding to the type of transaction, whether a payment or charge. If payment, enter the date received as the payment date, the check date, the payment amount, and check number, if any. An optional memo message can then be attached to the payment. The allocation of the payment will be assigned automatically based on the outstanding balances in the category codes and can be modified if necessary. 
Once satisfied with the payment allocation, click the Apply Payment tab. To post a charge or credit to the tenant balance, click the Charge tab and choose the category code by clicking the down arrow and making the selection. Then enter the date, the amount of the charge as a positive amount, or a credit as a negative amount. The optional memo message can then be attached. Once satisfied, click the Apply Charge tab. <laughs>